Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month, sorry not the middle, the monthly readings. Um, I want to apologize. I know we are a bit behind. We just have tons of new things that are going on on a personal level as well as professional level. A uh, bunch and tons of new videos coming for you guys. Um, we are going to be picking up the tarot series that we had spoke about um, or that I had mentioned. Uh, for those of you guys that are wanting to learn how to interpret the cards, definitely stay on the lookout for that. For now, let's get into your reading, Scorpio. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of August 2021. Now your first card here is the Ten of Swords, Four of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Emperor card here, okay, Eight of Pentacles, the Moon, Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, Scorpio, very interesting here. So what they're showing me is that there is a conclusion, there is an ending um, cycle. For some of you guys, it could be or feel almost as if um, your workplace, whatever it is that you do for a business and career, whatever it is that you do, um, in regards to making money, it almost became ordinary. I want to say it almost feels like routine, like um, feeling a bit, feeling a bit restless, only because um, there is almost like a feeling of boredom here. Um, now, this could be that you are experiencing um, like a, some type of temporary feeling, like in a rut so to speak, um, and it could be potentially um, having to do with, you know, with the pandemic and with everything that's going on. Uh, it almost feels like, you know, the world kind of stopped for a minute and now things are picking up and now, you know, with everything that's going on, it's almost like a feeling of here we go again, stopping things or um, what I'm hearing for you guys is just you're not challenging yourself enough, Scorpio. Now, with the Four of Cups here, I feel like there is a lot of possibilities. There are a lot of blessings around you. But again, I want to um, really highlight the feeling of not challenging yourself enough. Now, you do have here the Queen of Pentacles with the High Priestess. So what they're showing me here is the potential to create um financial freedom. Whenever I hear that, it usually indicates uh, grabbing the bull by its horns, really stepping up. Uh, for some of you guys, this could be thinking or wanting to start your own business. For others of you, you could have started your own business and it almost felt like things haven't progressed the way you hoped. But what they're telling you here is do not see it as a sign that you're on the wrong path. What they're saying is Yes, it's taken a little bit longer than what you expected. However, how bad do you want it, Scorpio? Do you continue putting effort or do you just altogether give up? And I know my Scorpios are not to give up. So again, they are telling you you're on the right path. Continue putting effort, energy. Do whatever it is that you need to do to keep yourself motivated, to keep yourself focused. Um, with the Queen of Pentacles here, the Emperor card and the Ace of Pentacles, um, it is definitely talking about achieving some type of success, some type of stability, some type of financial freedom. So again, if you started your business or if you've been running a business for a while and it just feels like things have slowed down, continue putting effort and energy. Learn to reinvent yourself, Scorpio. Sometimes that's necessary and it's not a bad thing. It just means that there are levels to this, right? And we must continuously keep bettering ourselves, um, continuing, you know, aiming for greatness because ultimately it is your greatness and it is um, becoming a better version of yourself. So again, there is a feeling of the need to challenge yourself, uh, the need to reinvent yourself or your, um, your ideas. Like I said, if you are running your own business, uh, even if you work for a company um, and you feel like you have great ideas, but somehow 
you know, you have a tendency of holding back or not really putting yourself out there in the limelight, now is the time to do so, especially because you have the Emperor card here with the High Priestess um, and the Eight of Pentacles. It's about putting yourself in a situation where people, where you can be heard, where people can hear you, where you can share ideas, where you can express fully. If you're asking or wanting a raise, now is the time to start asking for that, Scorpio. It's believing in yourself and being confident more than anything. They are telling you here with the Emperor card and the High Priestess um, to be, be more private in your career uh, or in your finances. So in your office space, whatever it is that you do for a living, um, try to keep yourself not as accessible. You know what I mean? Like, don't go telling your coworkers all your business. Um, and the reason I'm saying this is because we do have the high priestess here with the moon. So it does speak about, you know, secrets. Um, and it could be secrets that you in, in, in confident, in confidence. Um, I'm not sure if that's how you say it. In confidence, in feeling comfortable with the person sharing or oversharing, I should say. And they may keep that. And then later on, um, speak on your private matters or whatever it is that you share with them. So just be mindful about that. Um, because, you know, the high priestess with the moon usually indicates things that are hidden. Uh, it indicates things that are shared or are freely information that is given here with the eight of pentacles in good faith. Um, later on may turn into, uh, you know, just a person starting rumors or oversharing your personal information based off of what you've shared. So again, try to keep yourself, uh, keep things professional. Uh, don't really overshare or don't trust uh, those around you that work in the workplace that may have a tendency of oversharing. Um, and I am hearing specifically a female's voice. So if you are in a company or your workplace and there is a specific woman um, that pretty much knows the business of everyone uh, in the office or in the workplace, and they seem extremely friendly and they come to you and tell you everyone's business, stay neutral. Um, don't put a lot, of, uh, a lot of faith in what they're telling you, only because I feel that this person is uh, quote-unquote a kiss-ass, um, only to get as much information as they can of other people and you just don't want to put yourself in a situation where you know you had a breakup or you're going through something or you know you had an amazing night with your girlfriend or boyfriend and you share this information and you just don't want your rumors out there um, or rumors about you out there in the workplace so just be cautious about that however like I said challenge yourself for this month I do see great potential here and your finances becoming much more stable. So this is definitely the month um, to really, you know, step up your game, Scorpio. Uh, the potential to make um, more than what you are accustomed to is greatly highlighted here. All right, my lovelies, I hope that this gives you guidance um, and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.